up, bitches? So, we got a review here today on the Tsunami. Uh, I know it's not the 24 or the 24 glass version, it's the 22 version. But, on that side though, I have just hit 100 subscribers, so tomorrow I'm going to be putting up a video for the random checker to see who wins the, uh, the subscriber prize. So I'm chuffed the bits about, finally hit the, the triple digits. Ooh. Good bit. Oh, using the uh, tsunami with some of this uh, DMV juices, which is a uh, blue slush puppy. It's, oh, it's fucking tits. So good. But yeah, with you on the tsunami for today, what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll go up close personal with the little fucker. Shut up. Well, uh, show you all around it. I'm going to do a bit of a different one today. What I'm going to do is we're going to go up close personal with it. So I'm going to show you the box. Uh, what you get in the packaging. I'm going to show you the RDA, the drip tips, you know, all that lot. And then I'm going to do a build video for it. Now, it's my first build video. I'm good at building. But obviously, I'm going to get some names of things probably wrong, you know, and all that lot. Where I know what they're called, but my nerves are going to be fucking skyrocketing, probably, no doubt. But, yeah, so, bear with me on that one. It'll be, it'll be good enough, don't worry. And, uh, but, yeah, I'm going to do a build video on that one as well. And uh, what we'll do then is we'll come back on top, vape on it a bit more, talk about it, give you my pros and cons, and tell you if I lost it, I'd get in the warm. Ah, right, bitches, see you down there. There you go, bitches. So, yeah, as I said up top, we're going to be taking a look at the Tsunami RDA from Geek Vape. Fucking a spanking RDA this is. So, what we'll do, we'll have a look at the box. We'll take them out. Go through it, go through what you get in the box. Put a build in there. I'll show you the build that I'm doing. Um, then we'll go back on top, vape on it, talk about it. And I'll give you my pros and cons. So, box. Just love her little fucking type of design on it, it's brilliant. Lovely packaging from Geek Vape, gotta say. This is their 22, not 24. So on the front you got that. That's on the side. The other side. Got your scratch and sniff. Shkaboosh. And that's your back. Gives you all your products product information and all that jazz, but right, let's get in. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Right, what we'll do is we'll uh, let me get this out. Let me turn the side Take you out. So underneath, underneath that, there's you got a little little piece of paper just giving you information about the product, what this kit contains and all that jazz. Just smash that back on. So in the box you get a little baggie and in that you've got your 510 adapter. So you just screw that in and then you can put all your normal 510 drip tips in it. Your shit ton of O rings, two different sizes, got some spare four four spare post screws, which are grub screws, and you get an Allen key. Which is brilliant. It's ideal. So that back in the box. And in this bit, you get three drip tips. You get one 510, which is aluminium. You get one wide ball, which is straight wide ball. And then you get the tunneled wide ball, which is the one I use which tapers up a little bit. All right, let's get on the mod, shall we? <sighs> Back on the Snow Wolf Mini. So, once your chain bit just screws on, drip tip just screws out like that. 
screw it back on. Yeah, and that's the inside. Lovely quality, absolutely brilliant. You got dual airflow and single airflow. And here's the deck. Huge deck space. It's bottom fed airflow. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely sized um, deck. It's got a lovely sized post holes. You can fit pretty much any wire in there you want. And there you go. Absolutely stunning. And what you do is just line these air holes up here with the slots on here and you put them on. So there you go. Right, you want single airflow, you just twist. So open, nothing on the other side. You want dual airflow. Again, you just twist, open, and open on the other side. There you go. That's your up close and personal time with the tsunami. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a, a build video, and uh, we're going to go back on top, vape on it, talk about it a bit some more. All right. So there you go. Let's go. First off, let's take it off the Snow Wolf. Let's put it on. Put it on a K Box 160. Without dropping it. Smash him on there. Kookaboosh. There we go. Let's get this post open up. Up all the way. Oh, sorry about the noise to guy uh, today, guys. It's uh, really fucking busy outside. Got to have my window open. Get all the light in. As much real light as possible. There you go. Right, post open. Today I'm going to be using some clock gun wire from Geek Vape. Which is Count 4A1 and Nichrome 80. It's a 26 gauge Nichrome 80 wrapped with 32 gauge Count 4A1. Love this stuff. Absolutely beautiful coils. And I'm going to be using a 25 with the, the Coil Master jig. Just a bulk standard one in the Coil Master set that I've got. Obviously, I'm going to need some pliers, ceramic tweezers, some scissors for the wick, obviously some wick. <laughs> And a couple of screwdrivers just to set the coils. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? So you want to pull maybe I don't know, say about a foot. Yeah, say about a foot. Ish. Pull some of that off. Love these spools. You can just lock it back into place, turn it, and you're fine. There we go. Most people cut it in half and then they wind their coils, but me, I just, nah, just wrap it on there like that, then wrap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 7 wrap around a, a 0.25 millimeter bit. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Make sure you go up a little bit, half turn, sort them out, cut the lead. You want to give yourself enough lead to um, to work with when you're putting them into your coil, into your, into the deck. So that's one coil done. Right. 
Uh, let's get the second coil. Say again, seven wraps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. Perfect amount of freaking lead. There you go. Don't need this anymore. Let's put them away. Alright, what you want to do is want to grab your screwdriver. And you want to get your coils in there. Just make sure they're all straight. All the coils are out there looking nice. See if we can get it on camera what they're looking like. And all some lovely, lovely Claptons. And then, you've got two, two holes here, two holes here. What you do is you just chuck it in the top one. And then your other side, you put it in the bottom one. And it goes in nicely. And then, what you want to do, is you, make, you align it over the airflow. And then, you just bend the coils up. And to the side on the bottom one. So that's that done. Then what you want to do, is get your Allen key. Uh, you can use the one that comes in with the kit. Uh, with the RDA, I choose to use this one, it's just easier, I just lean it on my hand and win. It's a lot easier. So yeah, so make sure your coil's set in the right place, and then you tighten it up. One. And two. What you want to do is you want to cut your leads. screwdriver make sure he's all, it's all straight yep, he's looking good for a minute then you want to get your other coil make sure it's all fine and dandy looking all sweet it's fine and then again you chuck in one in the bottom and one in the top just like that again Line them over your, over your air hole, and then up and over. It's that easy. And then get your Allen key and tighten them in. And again with this side. Make sure you don't over tighten. So just do it tight enough as you, you'll realize when you're doing it. You'll know if you're doing it too hard. If you're over tightening or whatnot, also just be careful. Hold the leads when you're cutting them; they fly everywhere, and it's just a massive pain in the ass. Oh yep, yeah. let's realign this one. Get them all looking sexy. Make sure about they're the same height off the deck. They seem to be looking alright. And what we do is take the atomizer off, pop him back in there. Yeah, well, it's coming out to a point three one. It's not though. It's supposed to come out to a point four. Let's put them on the. Uh, Put one of your own reader. I'm not a big fan of these own readers. I don't think they give you a, a good enough reading, but yeah, I used to their own. They'll be getting a uh, Geek Fate 521 tab soon anyway. But this one coming on to. Well, point three one. No, I was wrong. Oh, there you go. Right, so that's the coil build. What we'll do now, chuck them back on here. Take them from 80 watts down to, say, 55. And then we're going to dry burn the coils to make sure they've got no hot legs, to make sure they're burning from the center out on both sides. Make sure then they're ready to vape. So what I do before I start it is I just give them a little strum with the metal bit. Now, when, when you're heating the coils, if you heat it, and then they let go, you can then strum it with the metal bit. 
but if you're heating it, you can't touch it with the metal bit. That's what the ceramic part's for. So you can heat and tweeze at the same time. Inside out. Right, there we go. Salted chicken wings. Let that cool for a second. Whilst we're doing that, this is rip off. I'm using um, some shaken vape cotton, which is one of my favourite cottons out there. Absolutely love it. I'm nearly out of it at the moment, which is a bit of a bummer. But, yeah. So groovy. Any cotton's fine, you know, as long as it's... As long as it's organic cotton. You know, a lot of people prefer the pads. And there's loads of different ways of wicking. This is how I wick mine. So I just roll the bit at the end. And what I'll do is I'll just pop in through the coil. Whilst I'm pulling this side. I'm pulling this side a little bit so it just slides in a lot easier. What I do is I give myself enough there so I can go down into the juice well. Just come about there, it's fine. And with this little bit, do the same. Just through the through the coil. Again, whilst I'm pulling this side, I'm pulling this side. Not a lot, otherwise the cotton will break. Just a little bit, just to give it some tension. Just get that cut. And that. That's okay. Yeah, make sure they're about even. That'll be fine. Let's cut that one a bit more. There we go. And there we go. Now what you want to do? is with your bent tweezers you just grab all the cotton and put it in there make sure you're putting it beside the air holes and not over the air holes i'll show you in a second when i come back up so you just pop them in it's all nice and loose in there same on the other side And the same as the last side. There you go. So there's your juice holes. What I'm going to be using today, juice wise, is gonna be I'm be using some granny's pie I think fucking lovely stuff so we're doing just get that juiced oh I pulled out like a fucking bitch there we go let's juice them up I'm not gonna be using it on the K Box 160 No, actually, no, I am going to be using it on the K-Box 160. Right, let's turn the coils up. Pull up to about, say, 91 watts is fine. Oh, baby. With this, uh, with this cotton, you don't really need to... You don't get any cotton taste from it. It's beautiful cotton. It absorbs the taste of the, uh, the juice instantly. There you go. What we're going to do, go back on top, vape on it, talk about it, give you my pros and cons. See you out there, guys. That's the thing. 
first up. Hello, bitches. So there you have it. You have the up close personal time with the uh, beautiful Tsunami 22. Um, now it's not the 24, it's not the 24 glass window as you've seen. I haven't got that one yet. I will be getting that one and again I'll be putting a review up on that. I am a little bit later with my products than everyone else. But obviously I'm just starting. I don't get things for free at the moment. I'm paying for it and it's just a shitload of money. <laughs> money don't grow on trees. Yeah, wish it fucking did. But, um, but yeah, anyway. Tsunami, ah, oh, bliss. It is my favourite RDA to date. Well, one of my favourite RDAs to date. The, the airflow on it is perfect for me. Um, the vape you get off it, the flavour, it, for me it's perfect. Um, the air, the, uh, uh, fucking my favourite today. The O-rings on this are tight as fuck and I really don't like it. Um, I've got two though, I pinched my pinched my wife's one off her, and the O-rings on that are fine. It's not too loose, it's not too tight, it's it's perfect. But these ones are just, these are just over tight. Fucking get in there you little shit. Can I say you can get out? Get in there. There we go. O-rings are ridiculous on this one. Ah, fucking juice everywhere again. Bastard thing. But yeah, one of my favourite RDAs. Um, but yeah, that was my that was my first build video as well for you guys. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments if you like it. And uh, if you want to see more build videos, let me know because I'll get them up. But yeah. That's how we do, bitches. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I oh, well over dripped on that one. Bastard. Oh, well. Only bit juice. Ah, but there you have it. So, pros and cons. Cons. On this particular one, the O-rings are ridiculously tight and I don't like it. Um, shut up. Other than that, I have no cons. That, that I would say no cons for this RDA. Other than the O-rings on this this in, in particular one being really tight. Uh, no, no more, no more, no more uh, cons. Pros though, fucking flavour for days. Airflow is perfect. Uh, looks the tits. Looks even better on the cricket. Um, it'll fit on pretty much all of your devices, being a twenty-two millimeter. It looks a bit odd on the below though. It does look a bit odd on that one. Um, but yeah, fucking it pros. It's the tsunami. That's the only pro I've got. To be fair, it's fucking amazing. Um, and to answer your question, yes, I would go out and buy another one if said RDA got lost or broken. I'd go straight out and buy another one. But I'd have to break two first, but you yeah, know. But yeah, I would highly re fucking juice. Jesus. Fucking Christ. There we go. Right, no more juice. Fuckers. Oi, get in your bed. Leave the cat alone. Fucking dog. But yeah, man. Um, I will let you go. I've just reached 100 subscribers, so the uh, video going up tomorrow. For the giveaway so good luck guys um, but like i said you only if you you've got to be in it to win it you've got to comment hashtag vad on the 100 subscriber giveaway video that got put up a few days ago two days ago um if you haven't commented on that but done the rest you're not going to be in the chance to win it i'm going to be doing the random youtube checker from online on the comments of that video so you've got to get on it guys but yeah, I'm going to let you go. This one's probably going to be one of my longest reviews because that build video was like 20 minutes. But um, but yeah, guys, you have a good one. Stay cool. Stay off your stinky sticks. Keep on vaping. Okay. Yeah. Is it still recording?